Um, and now, next up, we have AM Simp. And uh, Connor is going to be presenting AM Simp. He'll come on stage in a sec. And AM Simp is open source tools for weather prediction. So take it away, Connor. Good luck. Thank you, Tom. Good, after good evening. My name is Connor Casey, and I'm working on AM Simp. I am a self-trained self developer that has a passion for understanding large-scale systems, such as the atmosphere. I've, worked on, I've won multiple national and international science awards for work, for work modeling light pollution in Irish towns. My teammate, Laura, is a self-trained machine learning developer. She has, she, has worked on, uh, she has worked on multiple projects in machine learning, ranging from exoplanet detection to cancer screening. We are ANSIMP, and we're working on making weather predictions better for everyone. The problem that we're trying to solve is weather predictions is not all that it could be. For example, you should remember Hurricane Sandy, which hit New York in 2012. Initially, this hurricane was not expected to hit the mainland. But of course, this was not ultimately correct. And as a result, 285 people died, and $68.7 billion worth of damage um, was done. But why is weather forecasting so hard? Forecasting today is done by physical models of the atmosphere. This means that we know the equations that govern weather systems, but we can't solve them exactly. Instead, we approximate them. Weather agencies, take, weather agencies like MetAaron take reams and reams of data, feed it into supercomputers, and just number crunch and number crunch. Weather forecasting has become increasingly accurate over the years, but it takes so much computing power that we don't know for certain if it's going to rain on any given day. There has been fantastic developments in machine learning over the last few years, and we would like to apply these enhancements to make weather prediction better for everyone. So today, we're reducing AMSIMP, an open source solution that leverages machine learning to make weather prediction better for everyone. Now, hasn't this done been, been done before? Surely someone out there is using artificial intelligence to make weather predictions better. Not many people are working on this pro problem, strangely. It is mainly used in research settings and has not been adopted by weather agencies as of yet. It is also proprietary and is locked away by research divisions of large companies that use it for their commercial advantages. We're making well, machine learning models for weather prediction available for everyone, especially um, weather agencies and citizens in particular. Now, let me show you how this works. We take the weather, um, weather data from the past decade and we process it through our models. We find weather patterns and forecast parameters such as temperature, wind, and humidity. These models are then used to make predictions and make better predictions of the weather at a low computational expense, following which post-processing can be done. This involves extracting the most useful information from your forecast and visualizing the results. Using AMSIMP, we can provide a more accurate forecast while using less computational power. At the, currently, uh, we can provide 80% of the accuracy um, against the current state of the art uh, physical model that is of 48 hours of length. For this, physical models require a supercomputer, whereas we're only using a MacBook Air. We have more work to do, but we are confident that machine learning can become the cutting edge of weather prediction research. AMSIMP is an open source project. Our vision is to make better weather tools available to everyone. The animation displayed on screen is an example of what the, so the output of the software could look like. I originally started this project for a science fair. Trout patch, Laura and I went, met with several world-class researchers who gave us beneficial and useful feedback. Over the next few months, we will improve and scale our models with the goal of having met Aaron uh, researchers use AMSIMP in a pro pilot project. We also plan on applying to NumFocus, an inclusive scientific and research community that supports open source software. We plan on publishing a paper of our implementation. My name is Connor Casey, and this is AMSIMP. AMSIMP is in a beta form at the moment, and will be available on, on, on Anaconda Cloud later in today. If anyone is interested in assisting with the future development of our project, we'd love to hear from you. Thank you. Fantastic. All right. Well done, uh, Connor. I'm going to move uh, to Mark Cummins on the screen now. Oh, Mark Cummins on the screen now. And Connor's teammate, Laura, is going to join us as well for a couple of questions. Also, if people have questions, do feel free to pop them in the uh, chat as well. Um, Mark, let's take it away when you're ready. 
Cool. So um, first of all, I'd say congratulations for taking on a very, very challenging project and uh, making really great progress. That's uh, it's extremely impressive. And uh, I also think, you know, I mean, there's there's always a, you know, there's a huge gap, I think, for, for good open source tooling, um, especially for a lot of scientific communities where, you know, maybe there's a lot of technical expertise, but not necessarily programming expertise. So I think uh, that that's a super valuable contribution. Um, uh, yeah, awesome for the ecosystem. Uh, wh what attracted you to this particular problem of interest? Um, I, so I, I was working on sort of, initially I was sort of interested in climate change. I sort of wanted to um, get a better feel as to the, what, like, what the effect of climate change has on the planet. And so originally the project was involved with sort of uh, determining sort of if Venus could come be become as hellish as Earth like if Earth could become as hellish as Venus. So that's sort of where the initial idea came from. However, it's sort of sort of sh shrinking down and sort of the scope focus more on sort of weather prediction, because as we know, sort of weather predictions is traditionally notoriously bad from our perspective as the general public. Cool. And then, you know, so I guess to maybe focusing on Patch in the last six weeks, uh, what were the, the big projects or the, the kind of uh, ways you were pushing it forward? What were the, the big things that you were uh, working on? Laura, would you like to take this? Yeah. Um, so uh, the main thing that we were focusing on for the past is the machine learning aspect of it. So Connor originally had a machine learning research that done for Cypress back in May, I believe. However, it was it good, but it wasn't perfect, well, it wasn't great. So what we decided to do, we focused on machine learning and improving our model on our accuracy and um, getting the best uh, model possible. We also focused on the research aspect of it. Uh, Connor originally had just done this research project, but actually market with people is quite a different uh, as used off of the how would they like to use this, so especially if there's a market for this or not. Um, so we had contacted different people from the research universities and also met there and to get their ideas on the project, whether or not this could be something they could do, and how they feel about the machine learning aspect of it. So I was kind of the two main things here on the start of that. We did find practice great for, for the uh, connection side of it, so we had people in machine learning, we had to um, like our uh, tips on how to implement machine learning in the best uh, way to solve the problem, as whether well, it's quite uh, you know, we want to get uh, issues tackled, so that was very nice. Um, and so we, um, we're very happy with the progress in those. Um, yeah. Cool. And I uh, am yeah, making making uh, contact with the people in uh, Madarin and various other people in the scientific community. It's not necessarily easy to do. So uh, yeah, uh, very good job on that. Um, actually, I just want to ask one sort of technical question. So I was looking a little bit through your GitHub and some of the papers and so on. And so uh, I see that you, you decided to use an RNN. And um, can you say a little bit about what, what why you chose that approach as opposed to maybe using a, a CNN or dilated convolutions or some of the other approaches? So I'll take this one too. Uh, so the RNN uh, we decided on because it's time series data. So whether it takes inputs from the past and predicts uh, future predictions, I suppose it's weather is so um that was the main reason why we went to the RNN. Uh, a lot of people have other part, um, similar uh, projects have gone for CNN so because of spatial data so obviously space involved so, um, we're thinking maybe in the future you could use um the implementation of both an RNN and CNN together there have been um projects that have shown that this is a uh, definite potential but uh for perhaps we decided to focus on the RNN just the time series data aspect, aspect of it so very nice um and I guess just uh, finally um Maybe tell me a little bit about what your future plans are, where you're hoping to go next, and maybe, um, you know, in terms of maybe maybe talking to users, maybe presenting at a conference, or maybe getting maybe other developers involved, or, or, or just your general plans. It's, it'd be interesting to hear. Um, yeah, so at the moment, we're sort of going to continue to sort of to scale and expand what we can forecast. So at the moment, as I mentioned, we sort of only deal with sort of humidity, temperature, and wind speed. And so we hope to like add stuff like you know, rain, which is a often talked about topic, but also so more general things like, you know, getting, trying to accurately get um, sort of hurricanes represented uh, the picture because they're such an extreme event. Um, in terms of like conferences and stuff like that, we were sort of t thinking about sort of science fairs at the moment and um, such as like SciFest National and the BT Young Scientists. But um, yeah, we will definitely look into um, using, uh, look, going into conferences. Very good. Okay, I think that wraps it up for Anson. Well, congrats for 